Okay, so yesterday we started looking at geometric sequences. So remember, this is when we're multiplying by a, this, a, a number, like all the same number. Okay, so that's what a geometric sequence is. And we said that we're going to see growth ones and we're going to see decaying sequences. So now what we're going to do is make, we're going to start using, um, talking about the sequence in this recurrence um, language formulas. So just to go, when we have a recurrence relation, a geometric recurrence relation, so we will have the um, initial value, so that's A, so that's always the um, initial amount. I always say initial, but, you know, original, um, you know, starting value. And then here, you can see there when we go to write the formula, this when you have Tn plus 1, that's the rule of what's happening in the sequence. So that R is that common ratio. So if you want to write there, the R, remember that is the, the same number that's getting multiplied, yeah? So what we're gonna, um, so that's what how we're gonna set up a recurrence relation. So here it says generate um, and graph the first five terms of a sequence defined by this recurrence relation. So I'm going to, and remember I've talked about it earlier with arithmetic, very, very important if they're asking you to use the recurrence relation which is written out there when you show your working out you must show the working out so year 12s don't get a mark and it, it's it's a mark that you can easily get so don't miss out so here where i've asked to get the first five terms so if i go t1 the way i find t1 is i do um I would do R times T2. So in this case, R they've given me is a 2. Oh, sorry, times TO. So it'd be um, 2 times 5, which is 10. And then T2 will be um, 2 times the one before, which would be T1. So it's 2 times 10, which equals 20. Um, T3 would equal 2 times the one before, which is 2 times 20, it's okay, which equals 40, I'm just going to finish it, T4 equals 2 times T3, which equals 80, and then the last one, T5 equals 2 times um sorry is two times t4 which is two times 80 which is two ooh, 160. okay so it asked me to graph this as well so we're just gonna do a rough graph like we don't have to go crazy over it so i'm just gonna say all right so we we'll put the terms down the bottom or the um so this would be n so when t is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is an example of a growth one because it's growing, it's getting bigger. So I'm just going to say I'm going to be a little bit of a cheat. I know it starts at 5, and I know this is a curved graph, so I'll curve it up. And I know by the time it gets to 5, it's 5 and 160. That's fine, graphing it like that, okay, you know. The scale, it goes up quicker and it's a curve. That'll be fine. It's, we're just, you're only ever going to get asked to sketch or they'll actually give you the, you know, the grid nicely. So I'm happy for you to do that. Yeah, we should just also have, this is TN up here. All right, so keep keeping on with it. So that was a recurrence relation. So when we, we state the VO and the rule, that's a recurrence relation. And a recurrence relation allows us to get the next one using the one before. But say we go, all right, we want to know what term 100 is. We don't want to keep on clicking, clicking, clicking. So that's when we have an nth term formula. So up here, we now have a formula for a geometric sequence for the nth term. So if you want to write, here's when you use it, 
use this when you're trying to find any, you know, any term at any time. So use when trying to find any term. So maybe just if you want, put in, um, just put in brackets, say EG, if you were trying to find T100 or something. Yeah. So, you know, like, oh, yeah, they'd be well ahead. We don't want to keep on clicking. So, here you can see you've got the, the formula. So, here the R value. So, there's the number you're, the same number that you're multiplying will be written in the formula. And then um, you've got that A value, which is your first value or initial value. Yeah, so even if you want to write T-O, it's your first one. So consider the following recurrence relation um, in this example here, and they want you to find T-12. So I want you, I want to find, first of us, first of all, for us to write the nth term formula for this scenario. So if I was writing the nth term formula, I would write TN. Now I have to put the R. What's the R in this scenario or example? What's the, what number are we multiplying by every time? Three. three. Good. So this one would be three. Now I go to the power of N and I times it by um, the initial value, which is two. two. Okay. So then if I want to find T12, I'm going to do... 3 to the power of 12 times 2. So you'll do that on your calculator. So T12 equals, what was that? All right, so that ends up being a big number. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to sit there for, and keep timesing it by 3, um, which is makes sense. All right, so here, let's go for this one. It says find T20. So first of all, I want to get the nth term formula which would be the R to the power of N times the original, which was five. Okay, so when they ask me to find T20, it will be two to the power of 20 times five. So if I do that one, two to the power of 20 um, times five, it's gonna be a big number two is five two four two eight eight 